What's up everybody, man? Oh man, I can barely hold the steering wheel on my truck. It is 115 degrees here in Nevada. And, uh, man, I, I'm, I'm not used to this kind of heat, but I got the air conditioning going full blast. My hands are burning on this steering wheel. But um, anyway, I wanted to do a quick episode because of, uh, I kind of want to change tack right now. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more about mind state. Um, I know I post a lot of videos that tend to be kind of pessimistic and negative and a lot of people don't take it right. You know, that's not my mind state. I'm not negative. When I see trouble, I don't sit there and go, oh, the world's ending and we're all going to die. No, I don't do that. I go, there's trouble coming. You need to gear up. You need to man up. You need to ball up. And you need to start get, getting things changed, getting things done so that you can be ready to survive what's coming. So that you don't have to be like one of the sky is falling people who's going to probably die because they're not doing what it takes to prepare. And so we had, uh, we had Janet Yellen talk about how there's not going to be a disaster in our lifetimes or in her lifetime and all this garbage. And we're starting to see how uh, the states are, are becoming bankrupt. Uh, credit is starting to freeze. People are not able to um, pay their bills anymore and they're uh, not taking any more loans. Um, so we're going to see business slow. You're going to see business slow a lot because of the credit freeze that's going to happen because uh, banks are going to stop lending to people. They're not going to lend to people if people can't afford to pay back and uh, it, that will affect their businesses and that will make it so that the banks can't afford to pay their loans. So they're not going to lend to each other. So we're going to see another liquidity crisis that, that's going to happen just like in 2008 and you're going to see a lot of businesses close. We're already seeing a lot of businesses close. They're filing for bankruptcy. Uh, True Religion is one of the new ones that I heard uh, is filing. Um, uh, Joe's Crab Shack, uh, Sears Holdings, um, um, Ch uh, Charming Charlie's. I'm trying to think. There's so many names that are happening. Bebes. Uh, there are just so many businesses that have been filing for bankruptcy. And uh, uh, bankruptcy doesn't necessarily, necessarily mean they close shop, but they may close a number of stores and lay off employees. Apple even is laying off 3,000 employees uh, and they're claiming it's to uh, focus on uh, another project. But um, we're starting to see that happening everywhere. But at the same time, like I said, there's this creative destruction going on. Because I mean, in a lot of the places where I live, the economy looks good. I mean, right now I'm in Las Vegas. I don't see a lot of businesses thriving. But when I'm back in California, the area where I live in, People are still shopping. The stores are doing well. They're building a new Whole Foods market uh, in one of the areas, one of the cities nearby. And, uh, you know, so business is booming in, in certain areas. So it's pocketed. And I think what we're seeing, like we're seeing it with uh, CNN, is you're seeing the destruction of the old and the coming in of the new. I think there is going to be a new world order. But the new world order isn't going to be... Uh, so much as what the elites wanted it to be where they control everything all the time it i think this change to the new world order is giving all of us people here's the optimism it's giving all of us people a chance to become more powerful and more decisive in what and, and more more uh, influential in what is going to happen in our future and in our lives and so you're seeing a lot of decentralization where you don't have a central authority telling us anymore what to do. You don't have a CNN that controls all the media anymore. And they hate it. Boy, they're fighting. They hate Donald Trump for destroying them. But really, they destroyed themselves. Because the old cannot recognize that it's their own fault for why they're falling away. They're too close-minded. They, they were too arrogant thinking that they knew everything and they controlled everything. That they never had to keep in contact with the rest of the world because they control the world that they lost total touch with reality and how all of us are functioning you know here I am I never thought I would be ever ever doing reports on what's going on in the world I never thought of myself as a reporter and I kind of still don't I just see myself as like a commentary uh, uh, you know making commentaries here and there while I go about my life but I found that the internet is now 
a resource for me to show other people the things that I'm doing and it helps me to learn and it helps me to uh, to network with other people the world is a really interesting place right now things are going really great right now and I think if we can wake up more people if you can become more positive and more courageous even though the world is going to be really scary right now because we're going through change and change is painful uh, we all have an opportunity to create a magnificent world uh, I still believe in Jesus Christ but my church is crumbling because some arrogant priests got in there and they destroyed things the devil got in there and he's attacking our church uh, but I think our church is gonna emerge because Catholics are becoming more uh, militant and more independent and more uh, the way Jesus wanted us to be he wanted us rather than to follow to lead to, to exercise our free will that's why God gave us a free will and that's why God will not rescue you from your mistakes if you're suffering because of your choices and you blame God you are no different than Adam and Eve blaming the serpent blaming each other you play that blame game I don't like that blame crap if somebody blames me for why they're not a success and they try to cut me from their group or from being a friend with them I say bye bye sayonara see ya adios don't let the door hit you on the way out because now you've shown me that I can be independent I don't need you I really don't need you and this is the way the world is starting to become with cryptocurrencies with the elections with media everything central banking here they say there's not gonna be a crisis but what do they do they're raising interest rates to try to generate a crisis because they don't like Donald Trump they don't like that we voted for Donald Trump the idiots that follow those kinds of people the sheep they are so out of touch and they've been so brainwashed for so long this is why I love America America is the place of decentralization it always has been it always will be and I welcome all my fellow Americans to rise up really rise up not like the Democrats resist really resist the central authorities telling you what you need to do in your life go buy a shotgun to defend yourself Joe Biden no go get an AR don't report it don't register it none of this stuff has to be done anymore our government needs to realize that they are representatives of the true government the people and that's what our Constitution was about it is not an old document outdated obsolete document that needs to change we need to really go back to what it meant when it said we the people established do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America which restricts the power of the government and enumerates the laws that everyone has to follow so that we can all have a structured and successful society but the laws are minimal and you get all these lawmakers constantly trying to regulate everything trying to create new laws that we have to follow and limiting businesses and limiting people We've got to stop all that small thinking so this is the land of decentralization July 14th they're gonna to try to pass a uniform uh, cryptocurrency law regulation to try to make all cryptocurrencies the same that right away tells me how they really are out of touch with what the cryptocurrencies are because none of the cryptocurrencies are exactly the same they hear the word cryptocurrency or crypto coins and they think it's like the US dollar they don't all function the same way some are used in transactions some are used as fuel for contracts some are used for you know different purposes and you cannot uniform or make everything the same they do that with people that's communism communism tries to control and make people think the same walk the same eat the same live the same be equal in every way you know be equal in your rights with with your with your race and your sexuality don't give a crap about that we're all unequal that's the beauty of it we're born equal and after we're born we all have a chance to live an unequal life I wouldn't want to live the same life as somebody else I want to live my own life individuality be free I make mistakes in my life but I've learned from them and I've become strong from it if somebody were controlling my life I'd never be able to learn I'd never be able to experience the wonderful things that I had to go through in life to make me who I am and that's why I hate 
communism. I'll always hate communism. I'll always be against it. And I urge all of you to take this opportunity to throw your fear aside, to go out and do the things that you've always wanted to do. Don't Just because I'm showing you these things that are happening, that are changing in society, don't misconstrue what I'm saying to you. I'm not saying to you the world is over and now you got to hunker down in your house and, and protect yourself from everybody and cut yourself off from society. I'm saying the exact opposite. I'm saying have those things ready in case it gets that bad. But realize we're in a time where you have ultimate freedom now because there is so much chaos because that's what the, the elites and global communists want to do. They create order out of chaos right if you know the illuminati mottos order from chaos right destroy rebuild you know if you see that chaos in, in the past they've kept people stupid and had people thinking the same way so when they create the chaos they would herd the all the cattle into the into the same stall and everybody would flee there everyone would die together and everyone was controlled together but now that we are intelligent we are educated we are free people because when they make chaos it makes it harder for them to track us and that's why they have to keep using technology against us releasing CIA uh, software that constantly tracks you knows your background there is no more privacy and since there is no more privacy we need to now become chameleons in the world that we live in be more open about who you are in the world and let them create the chaos that confuses them because they can't create it they can't they can't control it anymore they've created so much chaos and they're so arrogant that they've lost touch with who the people are and it's a great great opportunity for us to thrive in this chaos to create your life anew who cares what your life was before if you were poor you were suffering your family died you have cancer you have only a little bit of time left take this opportunity to do something different with your life to change your life commit to it just do something different don't listen to anybody else don't let them present to you how to change your life just take what you like and figure out what are the things some people don't even know what they like to do try to figure out what you like to do go do things you know the money you have now spend it educating yourself about yourself get to know yourself better and so then when you become firm in who you are and confident in who you are you can change the world but you can't change the world until you change yourself and everybody wants to change the world they want to be significant they want to be instrumental in making the world a better place but they're not willing to change themselves start at home all right so that's my message to you you're gonna see the world change. You're gonna see more and more chaos. You're gonna see more and more potential for war. And it's all up to us, the people. Don't point at your government to get it done. You are the government. You elected them. You are the government. Remember that, when you put that mark on the ballot, whether it's finger, whether it's a, a slash, whether it's a button you push, whatever it was, you were the power behind those people. You are the government. doesn't matter if you're in the United States. You could be in China. You could be in Russia. You could be in the Middle East. It doesn't matter. If that person is in power in that government, you, the people, made it possible. And it's you, the people, who can change it. Look at Venezuela. They supported their government. And their government robbed them. So they have to own up to that. And now that they're all starving, they're mad. And they're going to blame the government, which is okay to blame the government if they screw up. But you also have to own up that you pushed the button so that they could be sitting in that seat. You sat there watching them all along, passing the laws and stealing the money that harmed you. So don't blame the government. It's you. Own up to it. There's nothing wrong with owning up to your failures. The day you own up to your failures is the day your life will change. I can guarantee it. Because you cannot solve a problem until you acknowledge that there is one. And when you acknowledge that it's there and you're honest with yourself, instead of lying to yourself and hiding that there's a problem there, you will begin to take the steps, the first initial steps that will help you to solve them. So sorry, it's this heat in Vegas. It's just making me, it's making me riled up. And I love, I love the sun. Sunshine is a beautiful thing. I grow plants in hot weather. And all my plants just go nuts. I just provide water 
and God provides the, the increase. I mean, these plants are going nuts. I've got, I planted like two months ago, I planted uh, an eggplant that was like this big. The thing is almost up to my shoulders two months ago and it's got eggplant that are freaking long and they look fresh, not like the kind you get in the stores like where they've got fink because people are pressing on it it's got no blemishes they are beautiful and so uh, the heat's doing it to me and uh, but i love it i love it if there's global warming i'm i'm loving it because global warming allows plants to grow it allows for photosynthesis so that's why governments if the governments are saying global warming is our national security threat it's because they realize that when the sun is shining so do the people and they're trying to get people to to get taxed and to feel bad about the sunshine feel good about the sunshine when there's sun you've got food when there's sun you've got the beach you can do all kinds of things in the sun so th that's my message i got a little long got a little overwinded i got a little over exuberant but i love las vegas i love my home in california i hope california changes too we got to throw out these imbeciles in government that make guns illegal and then the next thing you find out they're shipping guns to the criminals and making loads and loads of money because they created a black market by making guns illegal so people wake up people wake up don't let them make guns illegal don't make them let them make drugs illegal because they start dealing in the very things that they make illegal and they become multi-millionaires that's how uh, the the clintons became millionaires that's how the obamas became millionaires they shouldn't be millionaires and billionaires after being in politics you're a servant of the people you should not be able to become wealthy by being a servant of the people it it means you're stealing from the people so wake the heck up now and have a great week i love y'all god be with you go live your life